I'm finally back with a new video, something to get me right back into the swing of creating new art. Uh, I decided that I would spend the rest of the year doing at least a page a day in my sketchbook and I know that might not sound like a lot but considering I haven't drawn anything at all for about a month, I thought that it would be a great way to ease myself back into being disciplined with my work and also a great challenge to encourage me to film a lot more often as well. I do love making videos for you guys and I'm sorry that I've let that slip recently. And I'll talk a bit more about this challenge that I've set myself or this series that I'm hoping to create in a bit. But first, as you've noticed, we are starting out with some portrait painting practice today. Um, I'd love to get better at painting different skin tones and just improving the finish of my paintings in general. So I started out by looking at the work of some classic artists whose painting style I like, which is why you saw me on my laptop at the beginning of the video. I ended up gravitating towards the work of Gauguin and Cezanne, who I've always quite liked, but for this I actually tried to think about and analyse what it is about their work that I like and I figured that it was the way they lay down the colours in tiles and layers and also the colours themselves and how much they vary throughout one piece. I also watched a couple of talk-throughs and instructional painting videos. And this channel, I'll have it linked below, it's the artist Jeff Watts whose paintwork and art style I've also admired for a long time. I actually didn't know he had a YouTube channel until I started searching for tutorials earlier and finding these lovely long, real-time, in-depth videos of his process was literally like hitting the jackpot. So I picked up a few tips from him and I really recommend watching his videos. I feel like I learned so much and just the format of his videos is so easygoing and relaxing. I could watch them all day. But yeah, the reason for all this extra research and stuff is that this filling up a sketchbook thing is more than just, you know, getting back into drawing for me. I really want to develop my art and take it to the next level. So over the next 30 days, I aim to not just make pretty pictures, but also to sort of widen my knowledge of things and get a bit more creative and adventurous with my art. I think the reason I had to take a little break is that I just didn't like anything I was drawing anymore. I didn't find it interesting and I didn't really know what I was doing. It's so important in art to always keep learning and I think I kind of neglected that side of things and it was starting to show, at least to me. Uh, I had mentioned a couple of times recently that I wasn't really feeling my art anymore and a few of you guys offered this really lovely way of seeing things, basically saying that it's a sign of growth and improvement that I'm seeing flaws in my work and wanting to do better. And in terms of not finding my work interesting, I love watching other artists on YouTube and hearing about the meaning behind their work and just being taken on a journey and being told a story. And I feel like I've been lacking in that a bit. So while this first video is more of a technical practice, I'm going to try and incorporate some pages in this sketchbook that will push me to do more than just put pen to paper and actually have me thinking of a background for my pieces and a meaning behind some of my art. Okay, so just to quickly talk about a bit of my actual painting process today, I approached it in the same way that I've seen Jeff Watts do in his videos. I'd love to get as good as that, but basically starting out with the darkest color, putting that wherever it needs to go and working my way towards the light. Uh, I did lay down a wash for this last painting just because I thought the blue lighting might be a bit difficult for me to figure out so I wanted a bit of a tonal blueprint sort of just to keep me going in the right direction and to serve as a sort of practice round to see how the blue with the skin tone would go together. Going forward um, I'd love to be able to refine this painting technique, smooth things out a bit and have it looking a bit less painterly. Now these little painting studies didn't turn out perfectly today but I'm still genuinely quite thrilled with them because they're not bad first of all but also I just feel like I've taken a huge step forward back into doing what I love and also more importantly building a more solid foundation for my art working on my skills and knowledge so that hopefully I won't soon fall back into being unmotivated and unsure because from now on I'll always be learning and improving uh, anyway Thank you all for watching. Thanks for being so patient with me. I will see you lot tomorrow with the next video and hopefully a bit less rambling. Bye.